Happy Sunday, everybody. How are we? The UK is covered in snow, primarily England, which doesn't happen much, but East Scotland, where I'm from, everywhere but here. We have no snow in Argyll. So I thought I could have some snow falling on my Facebook Live tonight because I actually really like snow. We just have hard frost. Uh, but Orings and I went for a lovely walk in the hard frost with our son up to Little Lochin and it was freezing. So didn't stay out too long. So I just thought I'd hop on. Normally I come on at seven o'clock on Sundays, but I'm doing some treatment with my cell care machine, which is the machine that got me better. Because I got COVID a few weeks ago and it's just put me a bit into a bit of post viral. So I thought I'll just do that this weekend. I won't work and I'll try and get myself well. So um, I have to, I've got to do another hour and a half on the machine. And um, yeah, I just thought, come on now before we have dinner and then I can do my treatment and then get ready for tonight's crystal skull healing. So for those of you who follow me regularly, you know that every Sunday night I work with the crystal skulls. In fact, I should have brought her up. She's downstairs. And we are premiering Rosanna for first group skull healing. She has worked. She's quite a big rose quartz skull, grey day. She has worked in some of my workshops, but this is her first crystal skull healing and it's the bladder meridian. And I thought I would actually do a bit of a talk about that one because it's not uh, an organ we talk about so much, um, about looking after, and it's not a meridian that we may know so much about. So I think already 70 of you have signed up for this healing. If you are new, you don't know how the crystal skull healings work. I'll just go over them with you. Um, so there's it's an hour's healing. There's no video, there's no live link. It's an energy transmission, like a Reiki healing. But a crystal skull has got multidimensional consciousness so it can go in and work with you all. But we're all doing the same healing. If you're unable to meditate or receive the healing um, in meditation or resting because you're at work, that's okay. You're connected in. Your multidimensional self is getting the healing in real time. But then when you go to sleep or you can next meditate, you can ask to connect into the consciousness of that moment when you were connected into the skull and for the skull to run the crystal skull healing on you. And that's just how, how these skulls that are amazing work. So the bladder meridian is actually a male meridian. It's a yang meridian, which means it's got a descending um, pathway. And it's actually the longest meridian in the body. So we really want to look after our bladder meridian. It's got 67 acupuncture points along it. So if you're into acupuncture or shiatsu, you'll know that you'll know that that's a lot of various blockages can potentially occur. So the bladder meridian, well, let's just get its pathway because I am not a shiatsu practitioner. So yeah, it goes for the inner canthus of the eye. Okay, so there's, there's two and it goes all the way down the body and down to the edge of the outer little toe. So even if you just rub the edge of your outer little toes. In Scotland, we call them the pinky toe. I don't know what you call them around the world. Um, and that'll just stimulate that meridian. You could do that at the start of the healing or in, in your eyes and just intend to feel. So this will be our fifth one. Yeah, this is the fifth one, is it? Or is it the fourth one? Yeah, it's the fifth one. I'm just looking at what I'd written. And each one, but the two main ones, and then we've already done the, um, oh my God, what did we do last week? My brain is mush. Um, we have already done the liver and the gallbladder. Yeah. So they're predominantly dominated by anger as the emotions. But for me, when I went into the healings, both times it was grief that was underpinning the anger. So do try and tune in. Now there is a map on the page just dedicated to bladder meridian. 
so you can see where the bladder meridian goes. Now the bladder meridian, it runs down the back of the body and it kind of follows the, the spine. It doesn't go into the, the arms and it goes all the way down your legs and comes out at the little toe. Um, so in the healing, so it's the same healing that's happening on each of the meridians. So the first 20 minutes is working on the flow of this meridian. The next 20 minutes working on a miasm disease toxicity that's in the subtle levels, the cellular level, um, affecting the bladder meridian. And the last one is balancing the chi levels to flow through this meridian and downloading the crystalline light to strengthen that meridian's resilience. So the bladder meridian um, weakness or issues that could indicate you have some bladder meridian issues. Interesting, eye weakness. So you don't think you have bladder affecting your eyes, but apparently so. So issues with the eyes, bladder meridian can be a cause. Headaches across the forehead, so across there. Sinus issues. And I was speaking to somebody that had a sinus issue, really bad sinus issue. I wonder who that was a couple of weeks ago. Hair loss. Interesting. Actually, there's somebody that I know has some issue with that. I might contact them. Pain and stiffness along the spine. Well, that's me. I get that. Frequent urination. I don't get that, but um, bladder and kidney organ issues. Okay. Also, if you suffer from water retention, sometimes known as lymphedemia, I think. I see people at Stobo Castle with it. It's a really unfortunate illness. Um, looks really quite painful, but you no notice it on their legs. And lymph issues, which I have. So I'm really going to be focusing on healing this one. Um, the meridian runs, there's two of them, and they run about four centimetres from the midline, which is where your spine should be, um, along the spine and outwards down the back of the legs. Um, and there's actually points at every spinal level. So each vertebrae is a point, which is why it's got so many acupuncture points. So, um, yeah, and love. Rose Quartz is the stone of love. So that is all going to be um, what we're going to work on healing tonight. So that's at 9pm tonight. So that's in four hours time, three and a half hours time. If you want to come and join me, I'd love to have you energetically with us. It is £15 for the UK, £12.50 if you're rest of the world. The shop converts it to whatever your currency is. It changes daily. It you know, does it through the shop. So it does it through the, the international conversion. So, you know, you... If you're buying from abroad, then you need to keep an eye on the exchange rates. But it doesn't vary that much. So yeah, £12.50 if in the UK you have to pay that. But this morning I woke up and I was told I had a new Council of Twelve. So Ringus wants a Council of Twelve reading tonight. Um, I got my Council of Twelve. I've not written out, but I do remember them, which was very exciting. So your Council of Twelve are the Twelve Beings. You always have a team of Twelve spiritual beings looking after you. They can be Ascended Masters, Goddesses. They can be Star Beings. They can be Elementals. Um, and you'll have a Head One. So I have a new Head One. He's been my Head One quite a few times in the past. So I'm really used to him. Lord Maitreya. He's often known as the Teacher of Righteousness, Christed Codes. He's a real spiritual guru, so I know that I'm going to be going through a spiritual initiation or wake up in this next year. So those who are waiting for channelings, um, because obviously I was ill with the COVID and then this week I haven't had much energy, um, I will get back to doing them tomorrow, but we're still on the schedule for a month. Um, you should, it will not be over a month wait for you. Okay, so if you're in the queue waiting... Uh, right, let us get our Ascended Master guidance for this month for us all. Oh, how funny. I so need this. Now, this is an Ascended Master I've never worked with. Ocean. Do any of you work with this Ascended Master? Ocean. 
drink more water. I'm really bad at that. I took some CBD oil before I came on. It's got quite a lot of pain in my body today. I'm due on. And I thought, do I have a glass of water before I go live? Oh no, it'll be fine. I should also have a glass of water. But anyway, we're needing to hydrate to get us through this. And I know why. Massive coronal ejections have been happening from the sun. I don't know if you've read about it. Obviously, she is a goddess. And um, let's find out some information on her. I have never invoked her or called on her. And I've had this card deck for years and never even pulled her out. So... Let's find out who Oshun is. She's an African goddess of rivers and water. She helps women appreciate and enjoy their feminine beauty and sensuality. Both men and women can call on Oshun to help with their romantic life, increasing attractiveness and self-esteem and any situation involving water and the flow of abundance. Because we're building up the 1212 portal. I will be doing a workshop for that one. Lots of people asked if I did anything for 1111. I didn't. Because I'm doing 1212. And um, so 1212 is going to be the big portal, and I've already had the download. It's Lord Maitreya, and it is exciting. It's going to be um it is going to be our sort of spiritual advancement, big portal that's opening up. But Oshan, um we're requiring to flush out harsh energies from our bodies and to drink lots more water because all this incoming solar light we're needing to flush out our uh, energy which is what i feel i feel i've got all this stagnant lymph i struggle with stagnant lymph but i swam 300 meters yesterday which i know it doesn't sound much but it's a lot for me when i've not been feeling well so um yeah i'm physically still fit it's just the tiredness so it's not post viral i think it is all this solar activity so how are you getting on oh i work with her for earth healing yes i have never heard of her key ocean and i also have the african goddess deck which i just found after moving this deck is a dorian virtue one i know she doesn't do her stuff anymore but it's the sending master deck i just love it i've always worked with it and the data is still relevant she was doing she was a light worker when she channeled it she had a walk-in um and she's going down the christian path to her spirituality now which each to their own fair enough if that's what you want to do so um so yeah the energies for this coming week is more solar flares more earth releasement with the volcanoes whether iceland goes this week who knows um also lots of dragon activity yes that's what it says okay beautiful energy for clearing waterways and oceans um so yes lots of energy as new moons not till the 12th i have channeled i haven't done the channel i haven't done the layout of how it work i've channeled a solstice retreat She's going to be with Mary Magdalene and Ascended Master Hilarion and it's going to be awakening your inner mystic journey. So yeah, it's quite an esoteric one for those who are on the path of Ertilin, on the path of Ascension, those who want to know who they are, what they're carrying, what knowledge they have brought forward in this incarnation and how they're going to be, what other, you know, esoteric knowledge is their soul seeking to learn about and what's your path your purpose your service so yes yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting 22nd of december this year is the solstice which of course in the uk is the shortest day of the year but in the southern hemisphere it is the longest so um yes sea time and you're next on my list because i was going to do you today and then I was like, no, I want to feel better for doing your channeling. I'll do it tomorrow. So you are next on my channeling list. And um, yes, well, I have been digging out all my Rene Le Chateau information today, getting ready. I'm getting new bedroom furniture coming and I found beautiful artwork I bought in Rene Chateau and um, just lots of information I collected there. So I am, um, yeah, sort of been connecting with Mary too. So yeah, that's where I'm at, guys. Um, 
there's only seven of you on if you have commented i will give you a card and then i'm going to head off and get some food and get prepared for the skull healing tonight and i do some of my own meditation yes seating i do feel resting is a priority at the moment for all this intense energy that's coming up right let's get you an ascended master card <laughs> purification white tara i love working with white tara um key um i'm just going to give it to the folk that have been commenting epona crystals because i always try and get people to not just watch and engage on the chats um so crystals for uk um let's see who else was having chat earlier on oh, okay it was just telling me that people were watching i'll try and see who else commented not many people today okay evelyn i'll give you a card oh you just jumped out there Ooh, palace athena you got a powerful one i love it when she comes she's the top caution Detach from drama. So I don't know what's going on in your life that you're attaching to drama, but Palisadina, she comes with a great spiritual teacher. Oh, Leslie Ann, how are you? Vishnu, trust for you. Something is going on. Oh, Gabriel, I hope that you uh, do join me in the ethers tonight. And... Um, yeah, you've got another couple of hours to, uh, to book. And Gabriel, do you want a card? Retreat into nature, green man. Love the energy. All right, okay. Depends where you are. I mean, Yorkshire's got really heavy, slow weight district. You can't move in Ambleside. Um, they don't often get it. I know my friend's got it near Dundee. My dad's not said he's got it. I think it's just a bit quite. But um, yes, um, quite a few places have snow. We're not going to... We live beside the Gulf Stream. I don't think we'll ever get snow now we've moved here. Maybe just a skiffing, which wouldn't even be worth speaking about. So uh, yeah, so do come along tonight for the bladder healing because it is the longest meridian in the body. So if you do one meridian healing... Do the longest one and <laughs> sort out the issues with the the bladder. Um, particularly, f well, older women often get issues with the bladder. Older men get issues with bladder or just men in general can get bladder issues. So, which can lead to other problems in the future. So, it's it's definitely the bladder. I mean, all our organs are important. But the bladder, it's the long... I did not know that before I was researching for this series of healing. I did not know my bladder meridian was the longest one. So there you go. Every day is a school day, as they say. So, um, oh, hi, Sarian. How are you? Do you have snow in York? I think I think Henry said there was a little bit. He sent me a picture anyway. Um, we have none. None in Argyle. So anyway, I'm going to head off, guys. I'm going to go next hour and a half. I'll go into treatment. No, I'm going to have a big glass of water. Because remember, we all need to drink this week. Plenty of water, connect with the oceans, connect with the waterways. And, oh, nearly forgot, two more days left to get the 25 angel meditations. Normally, it would be, well, individually, they would retail at 625 if you bought each one. We're offering it as a special for 200 because the angels really want people to experience these. I've done a post, I've listed all the meditations. I know a lot of you did the series with me at the time. Um, and if there's an odd one you missed, you can just book that individually. But I'd love to know what your favourite ones are from the people who've bought the set. Um, it's motivating me to give myself an hour to just be in meditation, receiving healing from the angels because they were such a powerful um, healing series. So, so yeah, lovely to connect with you all. I better go and help Aringus, who's cooking dinner. I have to tell you. Um, so our son is in school play at primary sevens, the big play, the last one before they go up to high school. And he's never had this opportunity because 
he was in a really small school before and there was only six in his class, whereas now 40, so they're doing this big play. It's called Pirates of the Curry Bean. <laughs> anyway, he's got the most lines, 120 lines it turns out. I was practicing them with him. And so they've got, they've got A4, obviously, uh, what do you call it? I am not a drama person. Anyway, the script. Script, I think. It's held together by two staples. This is relevant. Two, two small staples. I'm turning it over and having to act out. So he's... Oh, I can't remember. He's the captain. So he's... Um, you know, whatever. I've got to read the line for his line so he can practice his line. But Ringus also makes me a big mug of hot cacao. This is relevant too. So anyway, we're on the sofa and he's standing up and I'm saying the lines and then I turn the page and one of the staples from the top, like, you know, just flung off. And I was like, oh no, I've broken your script. But obviously it can just be stapled back together. But in the drama of me breaking it and going, oh, Hot mug of cacao. Well, no, I just had to get it in my hand as I was turning the page. Thick, dark cacao. What? All over the arm of the sofa, the gold sofa, all over the chair of the gold sofa, all over the cream carpet, but it missed my silk rug. Hooray! Which was covering a bit. So I was like, Oh no! And then Oriel shouts, Dad! Mum's thrown her hot cacao all over the sofa again! <laughs> because this is something I've ever, ever had, but oh! So when we moved house, my husband invested in this extra add-on bit to the carpet cleaner. <laughs> which suctions up, because we used to have the, oh, take the sofa off, wash it in the washing machine. You had to do that twice in the old house. And then carpet clean the carpet. <laughs> But this new device, honestly, it's the best thing ever. It just is like, Nye! and it sucks up. It's like a mini carpet cleaner for your sofa and your chair, and it sucks up all the dark chocolate. It's the best thing he's ever bought. So I had to get that out, and Oriel's like, oh, for goodness sake, Mum. I was like, well, at least we avoided the expensive rough silver lining. Like the things my husband has to be up with. And you don't have to be in the washing machine now. So I have done that twice now since we moved house. I keep thinking the sofa is a table and I put it on the arm of it and I don't expect it to fall over. Invariably it does. That's what you get when you're not a very grounded person. But yeah, so Arangus is always a problem solver and he probably searched for ages on the internet to find an adaption for sucking up hot cacao. So yeah, we've already been through that drama today. So I'm going to crack on now. On that note, I will leave you to it. I will let you know how Oriel gets on with his uh, with his play on Thursday. It is actually really funny. The bits I've read, I was like, oh, I hope the kids do the jokes well. Because um, I think it's a very funny play. So, oh great, Liam. I'm so glad that you're coming along to the bladder healing. And... Um, I'm noticing the difference with it. I do feel more light in the meridians that we've worked on so far, for sure. Um, yes, they've been asking me to do this series for ages. It just takes quite a lot of researching because I don't know that much about the meridians. But, you know, I'm learning a lot and I am noticing the best distance uh, difference. So anyway, hope the readings helped you. I will see you next week and remember to drink lots of water is the message this week and if you're getting snow enjoy it but make sure you don't get too cold. Okay, bye!